Hey everybody, welcome back to Crazy Dave's Crew. This is Laura and you're watching Thursday Threads. I want us to go back to the basics. So let's talk about just pressing and squaring. Uh, two very important things, not the most fun things, but if you're pressing and if you're squaring, your finished product will look better. So don't go away. Let's get to it. So I've got a little nine patch and I made this out of a some jelly rolls and you can see it's you know very misshapen. Now you can't really say press to the dark side. So this is one depending upon what your project is, you know how you want to do it. Um, and for me for pressing, I always like to make sure when I'm attaching it to something that I've got opposite uh, folds. But just for the idea of pressing, and there's some different ways you can do it. I like setting my seam. So this is one way. Okay. And it is warm. So then you're going to kind of finger press that. And just kind of roll. So that it opens up really nice. Okay. There we go. Now let's do the other one. So we've set our seam. Again, this is nice and, and warm, so careful with the fingers. And again, just using the tip of your iron. Now, is this like, you know, the approved uh, way from the National Quilting Society or whatever? Probably not, but this is the way I do it. And this way I come up with a really nice little square. Another important aspect is your squaring. And squaring is going to make sure that all of your squares are the same. You've got a nice diagonal for all your points. Uh, so let's see. These were two and a half inches. So we've got two, four and a quarter, six and a half. Because this is, these will be two and a quarter, so that makes it four, two and a quarter and two and a quarter is four and a half. This is two. So ideally, our square should be six and a half inches. And there's a couple of ways that you can do this. Okay, so that one's good. I like using this diagonal line going right through the points. And I'm not quite six and a half. I mean, I'm a little bit over six and a half inches. <clears throat> so I'm going to take my rotary cutter. I'm going to want that right there. Making sure that I see some fabric outside of my six and a half. And that's right there on the line. It's a little bit. Go right through the, the corners. And I'm going to trim, holding it firmly down with a hand. Now, also remember, where you've had a seam, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to cut through. Now, let's turn it around. Okay. 
So that's six and a half on this side. That's six and a half down here. And I'm going right through my corners. So let's trim this up. Now, we've pressed it, opened up those seams real nice, and we have squared up our block. And we do this with each and every block that we're going to use. Let's look at a bigger scale. And you're going to be seeing these again later. But before I can use them, I've got to press them. And you can see, I didn't do such a good job on pressing some of these. They need to be opened up a little bit more. Okay, and you can see that these aren't. So let's take this over to the pressing mat. And you can also press it on this side if that's what you want. Like I said, I kind of like... Uh, setting but eh, what if you don't feel like setting what if you need to do it this way you want to see what you've got so I'm going to kind of hang on to it and just kind of roll that seam open you just kind of hold it open and press. Hold it open and press. And then we'll do the same thing with the other side. And I'm going to hold it this way from here, making sure that the seams are nicely opened all the way so that the whole thing is nice and flat. kind of lightly very lightly finish that up now everything is nice and you can see I didn't quite get it on point I'm a little off but I don't think anybody's gonna I, I'm gonna be, you and I are the only ones who notice that and I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it I'm sorry, that little, what, a millimeter is fine. Unless you're going for a contest, then you might want to rethink it. Now this one, these were done with five and a half inch blocks. So we we're going to have five, five and a quarter, and five and a quarter. So that's ten and a half plus five. So this is going to be a 15 and a half inch block. This little square is not, not going to be the easiest for me to use. So I have a bigger square that I can use. And this is a really nice one. It is 16 and a half inches square. We've got our diagonal line and we have our full inch to half inch, full inch to half inch. So we can do a lot with this. So this needs to be 15 and a half inches, right? We said, so we've got five and a quarter plus five is 10 and a quarter plus five and a quarter is 15 and a half. And that is our unfinished size. Once it's in the quilt, it's a 15 inch finished size, but unfinished You've still got these quarter inch seams on, on each edge. So unfinished, this is a 15 and a half. So the first thing that I want to do is try to get my diagonal at the corner, through the points, down to the corner. And I'm 
a little bit big, but it's not too bad. But I'm still going to try to trim that up. Because again, very important. Even this little, even a little bit can get you off. Okay, so I'm just going to trim that little piece there. Uh, got this from Amazon, and it claims that when you use your rotary cutter, it helps to sharpen your rotary cutter. So that's kind of neat. So we're just going to make sure we've got everything off of here. Now I'm going to flip it. So I get the two different size, uh, sides. And I want 15 and a half. So I'm going to be looking at this red mark right here. And I am there on these two sides. Perfect. I'm at the corner. I'm at the point seams where everything comes together and let's see if there's anything sticking out and let's just kind of cut it just in case there is. And now we have a perfect 15 and a half inch unfinished block. We have pressed it, opened up all the seams real nice. And then we have squared it. Now we're ready to go. Like I said, not the most fun pieces uh, activity to do for quilting. It's so much more fun putting the things together. But this is also very important and very necessary. So I hope you have found this video to be helpful. I hope that this is something that you can utilize in your sewing. Don't forget to subscribe down here in the left corner. Well, my left corner your right corner. Just turn that from red to gray. Don't forget to come back. And thank you so much for joining us on Thursday Threads with Crazy Dave's Crew. Look for us on Facebook. Crazy Dave's Crew has a page and then we also have a group of sewing and crocheting for beginners. Look forward to seeing you there. We love pictures. I'd love to see what you're working on, what you're planning. Ask questions. I'm st I still think I'm a beginner. I may not have the answer, but my, my, I might, or I might be able to find someone who does, or maybe one of our other members does. Hope you're having a great week, and we will see you next time at Crazy Dave's Crew, Thursday Threads. Thanks so much.